Hey, how's it going? It's Peter from the film scoring department. I'm just reformatting the score with large time signatures. Right now it has the standard kind of small time signature displayed on each stave. I'm using Finale 2014 and I'm, I'm just going to assume that you already know how to make a score and you have something to work with and at this point you just want to format the time signatures like this. You can do this at any point in making a score. If you already had notes in here and you just gotten to the point where you wanted to format the time signatures this way, you could do it then or you could do it before you enter anything in the score. You're going to need to download these two library files for which there's a link in the description. You can save those library files anywhere in your computer. Um, so when I go to load them, it, it, it won't necessarily be in the place where yours are. And I'm going to do that right now. File, load library. And the first one is called big time doc options dot lib. Select it. When you hit open, the the time signatures that are in the score now are going to kind of go crazy. And then you have to load the second one. File, load library. And this one's called no time staff style dot lib. Nothing should change right away when you load that one. If you grab the staff tool from there and then select the entire document, which I did by clicking Command A on my keyboard, you can temporarily remove all of the time signatures. Doing this, apply staff style to. Very important to select current part or score so that it doesn't change anything in the parts. And you'll see that here at the bottom of the list, this, this uh, style that we just imported with that second library, it's called No Time. No time signatures anywhere. Another thing you might want to do at this point, go back to the staff menu and choose Show Staff Styles. You can see that there's a staff style that we just applied to every one of these staves. And the last step for formatting these is just to delete that style from a few of these staves, usually one in each choir, so that you have it's showing in a few places. So for example, if I take this second flute line here, you can click and select the staff style, and then using the delete key on the keyboard, bring the time signature back so that there's one in the woodwinds, one of these large ones here. And then I'll just do the same thing. I'll go down to something here in the brass, select the staff style, delete key on the keyboard. Now I have another time signature for the brass choir. And I'll just grab another one here in the strings, hit delete. And let me zoom out so we can take a good look at this. If you want to learn about making these libraries for yourself and customizing them, you can customize the size of the time signatures or you can try different fonts and also other font settings in the document that can be saved and moved around from document to document. Follow my uh, link in the description for uh, making libraries. And if you want to undo this, you can just remove that staff style from all of the staves and go back to the file menu, load library, and load one of the default libraries, and it'll go back to the way it started.